Warning. I am one of those really annoying people that had two really manageable water births and I breastfed both my children from the beginning. Okay, I've said it and I shouldn't be ashamed about it. So I know that people sometimes really struggle with breastfeeding. So yeah, I just decided that if I could breastfeed, brilliant. And if I couldn't, so what? And I could. And maybe it was because I was relaxed. Okay, so in the first few days with Hope, my first daughter, I nearly gave up because, stupidly, I don't think I was paying attention in my NCT class, but I didn't know that when you first have your baby, your milk's not there. I didn't know about that whole waiting for three to five days thing. So that was really emotionally like challenging because A, I was knackered, and B, I thought Hope was hungry. So I, you know, I was crying and the midwife came round and you know saved me from the brink and said um you know just be patient the baby won't be going hungry you know take paracetamol and you know cover your nipples in lanoso nipple cream and you know she saved my breastfeeding journey because little did you know that an hour before i'd sent my husband to the shop to buy a bottle of milk and you know and the best thing about breastfeeding is it's easy like you don't have to like faff around with the sterilizer and washing up all your bottles and waiting to boil the kettle and checking the temperature, um, especially at night. But I had the problem that I couldn't get Hope onto a bottle when I decided that I wanted to. And so switching her from breast to bottle was actually a real challenge. So with Margot, my lessons learned were to stop the agonizing first few days, I used Laniso breast um, nipple cream before and after every free feed so prevention rather than cure and I introduced a bottle earlier with Margot so I started introducing the bottle at three months um, not with the intention to stop breastfeeding but just to do a bit of both so that she was fully comfortable with having me or the bottle and I still breastfed at night thing oh does that make me sound really lazy um and you know at night this is again a bit controversial I co-slept so I would feed in bed with Margot and then we'd both fall asleep and then I'd pick her up and put her in a Moses basket and Savoy cabbages also saved my life when I decided with hope that I was going to give up breastfeeding or trying to because I got really gorged, like my supply didn't know you know what had hit it and so savoy cabbages in your bra and even like, even if you're feeling a bit tender you can put these savoy cabbages in your bra and it unclogs all your pipes so to speak. I don't know the science behind it but I promise you that is a top tip. So Savoy cabbages, amazing. The advice I had would have given my pregnant self or myself in the first few days would be already buy your Lanaso nipple cream, have it in the house, have nipple guards in the house as well, just in case, and maybe a Savoy cabbage. <laughs> so basically, basically, it's a shopping list. <laughs>